Uh, hi, my name is Dr. Moshul Kazi. I'm a consultant in emergency medicine and you're watching my YouTube channel. Uh, if you like the videos on this channel, please kindly subscribe to this channel. I had certain feedback from my followers as they wanted me do, to do a video in English. So this video is going to be in English language. Uh, the question we're going to discuss in this video is two things. First of all, uh, is can we give Sinoform and Sinovac vaccine as first and second dose together? Uh, and the second question is, can we give AstraZeneca and Pfizer as the first and second dose to the patients. Uh, the, the reason for these two questions is this is what we normally practice in Pakistan and this is creating a lot of confusion. To answer the first question, can Sinopharm be given as the first vaccine followed by Sinovac as the second vaccine? The answer to this is that there is no study up to date uh, which shows that these two vaccines can be given together as the two doses of COVID vaccine. But uh, if you talk about the theory, both these vaccines, Sinopharm and Sinovac, have essentially the same mechanism of action uh, and almost the same sort of side effects, although the efficacy effectiveness of Sinopharm is better as compared to Sinovac. So if, uh, for example, in Pakistan what's been happening is because of the lack of availability of the vaccines, so the government services are trying to uh, modify the strategy in which they're giving the uh, first dose as Sinopharm and the second dose as Sinovac. Sinovac. I don't think there's a big issue with this because both as mentioned, both these vaccines have the same mechanism of action and almost the same side effects. So you can interchange them. But the question really comes is if you give Sinopharm or Sinovac as the first dose and then you start giving uh, Pfizer as the second dose. Uh, there, there is, this is where I think there's going to be slight complications because both these, uh, the Sinopharm and Sinovac compared to Pfizer have different mechanism of actions because Sinopharm and Sinovac uses, as, uses an inactivated COVID virus in which the COVID virus has been killed or inactivated compared to Pfizer which uses a genetic material such as RNA to go and uh, um, activate the immune response. Uh, so th the answer to the second question is whether we can give Sinopharm or Sinovac, then followed up by Pfizer, is completely uh, unanswered. We'll have to wait how uh, and when the studies come up and what they give us the answers to it. Uh, the second part of the question in this video was, can we give AstraZeneca as the first dose followed by Pfizer as the second dose? Uh, the answer to this is a bit more clearer because there are certain studies in the US uh, which have shown that patients who were given AstraZeneca as the first dose and they were followed up with Pfizer as the second dose, uh, th th those patients tend to develop a better immunity or antibody response uh, as compared to patients who were just given two doses of AstraZeneca as the first and second dose. Uh, so in theory and practical, uh, it's possible that you give AstraZeneca as the first dose followed by Pfizer as a second dose and vice versa. But the thing we need to consider is uh, these patients uh, do, uh, should not have chronic underlying medical conditions such as heart diseases, renal failure, uh, or uh, chronic kidney diseases, uh, because th that, that's where the complications might occur, because both the AstraZeneca and Pfizer are known to have some serious side effects. Um, so just to summarize, the first question, whether we can give Sinopharm followed by a Sinovac vaccine, yes, you can, because I think the mechanism of action is quite similar and the side effects profile is quite similar. So in theory, that shouldn't cause any problem. Um, and the second part is, can we give AstraZeneca followed by Pfizer? And then again, the answer is yes, you can still give it, provided patients do not have chronic underlying medical conditions. I hope this answers uh, a bit of confusion which is surrounding at the minute particular in, in Pakistan because there's a lack of vaccines available and uh, around the world, especially in the developing countries. Uh, if you have any more questions or comments, please uh, mention them in the down below. And what's more easier and feasible for me is if you message me on WhatsApp, it's much easier for me to answer your questions then and there because uh, to answer them on on the YouTube comments uh, is slightly bit uh, taskier for me, but I'm happy to answer your questions on WhatsApp as soon as I get them. I hope you like this video. If you do, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.